Modern cryptography is primarily based on mathematical theory and computer science practice. Cryptographic algorithms are designed around computational complexity assumptions, making them difficult, if not impossible, for a threat actor to break. JCrypt Tool is a platform-independent open-source software tool and is part of the open-source project Crypt Tool. JCrypt Tool is an extendable e-learning platform presenting cryptography, cryptanalysis, and IT security in a modern and easy-to-use way. This lab, Use Classic and Modern Encryption Algorithms, will use JCrypt Tool to introduce classic, modern, symmetrical, and asymmetrical cryptographic algorithms. Part 1 is Use a Classic Encryption Algorithm. In cryptography, a cipher is an algorithm for performing encryption and decryption. A cipher is a set of steps for performing both an encryption and the corresponding decryption. Early ciphers in cryptography were designed to allow encryption and decryption to take place by hand, while those which are developed and used today are only made possible by using computers. Classic algorithms are those invented up until around the 1950s. A Caesar cipher, also known as the shift cipher, is one of the simplest and most widely known encryption techniques. The method is named after Julius Caesar, who used it in his private correspondences. Caesar is a type of substitution cipher in which each letter of plain text is replaced by a letter some fixed number of positions away in the alphabet. For example, with a left shift of 3, D would be replaced by A, E would become B, and so on. Step 1 is launch the CSE Lab VM. Step 2 is open and explore the JCrypt tool. To learn more about CryptTool and JCrypt tool, visit cryptool.org. JCrypt tool is on your desktop. The tool has four windows, File Explorer, Help, and the currently open window are already open. Crypto Explorer provides access to the cryptographic tools. By default, the Crypto Explorer is not displayed. To open it, click Windows, Show View, Crypto Explorer. You'll want to be able to have the currently open text file and Crypto Explorer both viewable at the same time. You can grab the tab for Crypto Explorer and holding down your mouse button, wait until you see a view sort of like this and then choose to have them like this. You can also swap the currently open file and the Crypto Explorer by dragging like that. It's important to have this file be the active file when you're working inside Crypto Explorer. Step three is use the Caesar algorithm to encrypt a text message. To start, you will need to populate the currently open file with a message you wish to encrypt. Highlight all the text in the unsaved 001.txt file and replace it with the message CRYPTOGRAPHY IS FUN, CAN YOU READ THIS SECRET MESSAGE, in all caps. In the Crypto Explorer, click CLASSIC if it is not expanded and double-click CAESAR. In the Operations section, select Encrypted if it's not already selected. In the Alphabet section, verify that the options Select Alphabet and Upper Latin A through Z are selected. In the Key section, change Enter Key Using a Character to K. Leave all the other options at the default. Click Finish to save the options and encrypt the data. A new file opens with the encrypted message. I will drag this file over to be in the same window with unsaved. This is important to do so that the next operation will operate on this file. Step four is decrypt the encrypted ciphertext with the Caesar algorithm. In the Crypto Explorer tab, double click the Caesar algorithm again. In the Operations section, Select Decrypt. Select the same settings to decrypt the current cipher text. And click Finish. 
You can see that the Caesar algorithm decrypted the file and the message is readable. Close the output files. Step 5 is change the Caesar algorithm settings. First, let's change this message to sentence case. In the Crypto Explorer tab, double click the Caesar algorithm again. Encrypt should be selected. For select alphabet, set the value to upper and lower Latin. For the amount of shift along the alphabet, set the value to 13. And click Finish. Here you can see the output is quite different with uppercase and lowercase letters. You can close this file. There is no need to save it. In part two, you will use a modern encryption algorithm. One of the most popular versions of a modern cryptographic algorithm is Advanced Encryption Standard, AES. AES is a symmetric cryptographic cipher in software and hardware that is used throughout the world to encrypt sensitive data. The AES cipher requires an encryption key to control the encryption and decryption process. This algorithm is considered a strong cryptographic protocol based on its complexity and key length of 128 bits. Step 1 is using AES encryption. Again, we will use this file as our input text file. In the Crypto Explorer tab, click Symmetric to expand it if necessary, and then double click AES. In Operations, it's set to Encrypt. For a key source, select Custom Key. For key length, leave it at 128. And for the key, replace the 00, zero at the beginning with two A's. And at the end, replace the two zeros with F's. The mode, leave as is. And the padding, leave as is. Click Finish. The output is a binary file. You will see four rows of hexadecimal digits. And next to those four rows is the cipher text. Let's move this file over. Make sure it's the active file by clicking the tab. Double click AES again. Choose Decrypt. Custom Key. Change the first two zeros to A. And the last two zeros to F. And click Finish. And a new file opens, a binary file, and you can see the ciphertext has been decrypted and is now plain text. Close the two binary files and leave the unsaved text file open. Part 3 is use a modern asymmetrical encryption algorithm. Unlike symmetric encryption, asymmetric encryption encrypts and decrypts the data using two separate yet mathematically connected cryptographic keys. These keys are known as public key and private key. For a person to send an encrypted message to another person using asymmetric encryption, they request a public key from them, then use it to encrypt a message with an agreed-upon algorithm. The other person decrypts the message using their private key. The message cannot be decrypted using the public key. Step 1 is use RSA asymmetrical encryption. We will continue to use this file. Cryptography is fun. Can you read this secret message? In the Crypto Explorer, click asymmetrical to expand it. And then double click RSA to open the algorithm settings. For operation, leave it as encrypt. For key store, click create a new pair in the key store. The New Key Pair dialog box opens. Enter the contact name John Smith. Set the password as secret. Leave all other entries as the default and click Finish. Then click Finish again in the RSA encryption dialog. And the input file is encrypted. Step 2 is decrypt using asymmetric algorithm RSA. Move this file over. Click the tab to make sure that it's active. Double click RSA. 
choose Decrypt, and from the Select key, choose John Smith. Click Finish, enter the password secret, and an output binary file opens with the decrypted message.